one shot, one opportunity to complete the square, one moment, would you learn it or just fail? Lunch spaghetti, I'm nervous, but on the surface of the calm and ready to solve the problem. But I keep on forgetting what I wrote down. Flipping the pages gets so loud, so I back up and doubt. And the numbers won't work out. I'm joking how, gonna get a zero now. The clock's run out, time's up, over, blah. So the first step to complete the square is arranging this formula into ax squared plus bx equals c. And that would go to x squared plus 6x equals 11. This formula, a would equal 1, b would be equal to 6, and c would be equal to negative 11. You would take 1 half of b, which is 6, and square it. 1 half of 6 is 3 squared equals 9. We would add 1 half of b, which is 9, to both sides of the equation, making the equation x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 11 plus 9, or x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 20. This equation has a perfect square in factor form, which would be x plus 3 squared. This is because you need two numbers which add to 6 and multiply to 9, which is 3 and 3. Solve for x. You would do this by subtracting 3 to each side, making the equation x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 20. simplify if possible. Rad 20 can be simplified into rad 4 and rad 5. This can further be simplified into x equals negative 3 plus or minus 2 rad 5. The answer is x equals negative 3 plus or minus 2 rad 5. Up in the numbers, one, if you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to show that this completing the square just can be mastered, yo. Ain't nobody got time for that. 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 Ain't nobody got time for that.